We finally got our hands on a brand new 2019 Chevy Silverado, and today we're gonna dive into this thing with some of the most popular headlight bulb options available, and I'm gonna show you guys one by one which one is the best for your low beam and your high beam. So, let's get the truck flipped around, let's point it at our wall, and let's see which one is the brightest. Now the way this test is gonna to work today is very simple. We're gonna use this digital lux meter against the wall and we're gonna measure exactly how bright each of our headlight options is. Not only are we gonna measure how bright they are in terms of lux, but I also wanna show you guys each individual beam pattern because we've had beam patterns on this channel that are super bright before but they produce a lot of glare or they've got some ugly shadow effects that would make them undesirable for you when you get them. So. We're going to go through and we're going to find not only the brightest option, but one that imitates the factory beam pattern as closely as possible. So here we've got our 2019 Chevy Silverado pointed at the wall, and this is what the halogen low beam looks like right when you bought the truck. This came in at 290 maximum lux. Not super bright, but we do have a nice beam pattern from the factory. We're not gonna be blinding anybody, obviously, with this beam pattern, and what we're looking to do here is find a good bulb upgrade that's gonna brighten up this beam pattern without too much additional glare. So, with that being said, let's get our test started. Here we have the VLED's Micro Evolution Bulb. Now this one is super popular lately. We've seen it popping up a lot on social media and we were dying to give it a test. This 2019 Silverado was the perfect candidate for it. We picked up a set of their H11 bulbs. And as you can see, we've got a nice white light output. We did pick up some glare compared to the stock beam pattern though, and that's not quite what we're trying to accomplish here. We don't wanna be getting flashed. We want a brighter low beam without getting flashed. This came in at 1,190 maximum lux. Not bad, let's keep going. Next up, we have a crowd favorite, the Morimoto Two Stroke. This one is a small fan-based bulb, and we get asked about this one a lot in the comments section on our YouTube videos, which, by the way, we do check quite frequently. So if you wanna see a different bulb tested, by all means, post below, we will check it. This one came in at 1,220 lux, definitely not bad. Once again, we do have a little bit of glare above the cutoff line, but overall, this wouldn't be a bad upgrade for your money. Let's keep moving down our list. Here we have the Diode Dynamics SL1 bulb, and this is the only one out of the bunch that is made in the USA. It's got a very solid build quality, and this one came in at 1300 maximum lux. It fit the headlight pretty well, it looks pretty good on the wall, and it's got a nice white color. Now, if you've been with us for a little while, you've seen the SV4 tested quite a bit on this channel. It is only fitting that it ends up in this truck as well. And this came in at 1,880 maximum lux. Now, I would say out of the bulbs we've tested so far, this one maintains that factory beam pattern the best. We've got a nice identifiable hot spot, not a ton of glare above it. And at 1,880 compared to 290, that is quite an upgrade over stock. Now, the last bulb we're testing today is the GTR Lighting Ultra Series 2 bulb. Now, if you remember their first bulb, that was a passively cooled bulb. It had a large heat sink that didn't fit many applications. Their new bulb is fan cooled and it's fit most everything we've tested in so far and as you can see here it is a solid performing bulb this came in at 2090 maximum lux a little bit of glare above the cutoff line but i think the trade-off for that 2090 maximum lux number might just be worth it in this case that is an unbelievably bright bulb i love the color now real quick guys, I wanna show you the factory high beam. This came in at 900 maximum lux. The high beam on this truck from the factory is actually pretty good. It redeems the headlight on the truck itself. But I wanna show you one quick bulb that we found to fit this headlight really well. This is the GTR Lighting CSP Mini Bulb. Now this one is passively cooled and it fits that tight high beam opening really well. Now you can fit some of the bulbs in this shootout in the high beam, but we did struggle with it off camera. It's just a tough, tough close quarters install and the GTR Lighting CSP Mini fit really well. This came in at 3,620 maximum lux, unbelievable upgrade over stock. If you're looking for something that's really gonna light up those back roads at night when you flip that high beam switch on, this is a good option. Real quick guys, you can technically fit just about any of these bulbs here in the high beam slot. I do wanna point that out. It is possible, it is just a little bit challenging. We managed to do it with the SV4 and the GTR lighting bulb, and let me just tell you, they are unbelievably bright but the GTR CSP Mini was not a bad install. Now that you've seen some of the best possible headlight upgrade options for your Silverado, let's get to the actual install. Now, this truck might look a little daunting at first and looking at it from the outside, you might think, man, I might need a shop to do this. Trust me, you can do this at home with no tools at all. Thank you, Chevy. 
Now, I apologize if you can't see exactly what I'm doing. It is kind of a dark little corner here that we're reaching into, but I promise you it is as simple as reaching in, pulling the cover off, pulling the old bulb out, and installing a new one. Nothing to it. Now, on the back side of your headlight, you're gonna find a rubber dust cover right here. This is for your low beam, it's the top. Remove the top dust cover just by pulling outward. There are tabs on the top and bottom that you can pull on. And once again, I apologize. I know it's a little hard to see, but trust me, if you're doing this at home, there's really nothing to it. Reach in here, twist your factory halogen bulb counterclockwise. You can pull the bulb out here to unplug it. Press in on the tab, just like that. Now at this point, you can install whichever LED bulb you'd like to. Just about every option I showed you guys today fit. And since I've got an SV4 bulb on hand, I'm just gonna install that because it's got a bigger driver. So I wanna show you guys where you can put a bigger driver like this bulb uses. With the bulb plugged in, you can actually fit the driver alongside the headlight, like so, as well as the extra wiring. And you can twist your bulb into the socket, just like this. Now I'll admit, this is a pretty close quarters install. There's not a whole lot of room. That's why you want to pick a good bulb right off the bat so you don't have to do this more than once. Now at this point, you can go ahead and reinstall your dust cover. Now with your low beam dust cover reinstalled, you can move on over to high beam. And honestly, for the high beam, I really like using the GTR Lighting CSP Mini. It's a small bulb that's really easy to install on this particular headlight. It's a very tight fit with just about anything else. We did have luck fitting the SV4 and the new GTR Lighting bulb in there. It's up to you what you want to run. This one was a tough one to capture on camera, but like I said earlier, if you're doing this at home, you're going to do a lot of it by feel, and it's really not too bad. With the high beam bulb installed, go ahead and reinstall your dust cover and enjoy your bright new headlights. Now testing like what you just saw here today is exactly how here at Headlight Revolution we do lighting better. We get brand new vehicles in like this one behind me and we test everything from headlights to fog lights, cargo lights, reverse lights. Basically, whatever didn't come LED from the factory. So if you've got a truck like this one, please click the subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out.